<laughs> it's so warm. Excuse the look of us. It is nearly 40 degrees today in Australia. It's 33 right now, but it's very, very humid. Yes. So this is our 10 week Europe itinerary. <clears throat> to begin with, we went from home. So we went from Darlington train station to Aberdeen. Yeah. And we spent one night in Aberdeen. And then we flew from Aberdeen to Bergen in Norway, where we spent a night in Bergen in an Airbnb. Which wasn't that bad, it was like a loft thing. But it was in like a house. Yeah, it was like weird. a room but with a shared bathroom. You, but the room had a little kitchen in it. It was like a private hostel type thing. Yeah. And it was fifty pounds for the both of us for one night. Fifty one no nights. And then whilst we were in Bergen, we went to Mount Pluyen. And you ate a reindeer hot dog with what was the berries called? Some berry, your the berries or something. Yeah. I don't know. And then from Bergen we went to our workaway. So we spent two weeks on a fruit farm in Hardanger Fjord. And it was amazing. We picked fruit. We picked plums mainly, but we'll talk about that later. We went on a boat trip because the guy had a boat and we so he took us out on the fjord. Um, we had dinner out on the fjord and we went for a really yeah, long walk. Yeah, we had prawns. We did, yeah, we saw dolphins. Yeah, we saw dolphins on the, uh, on the boat trip. And then whilst we were there we also went to Cholunga. Yeah, a really famous walk um, that takes like eight hours, twelve hours if eight you really Eight to twelve, I think. Really. Yeah. But it took us like eight, eight and a half maybe to go there and back. And then from our work away, we went back to Bergen Did. for one night. <clears throat> and then from Bergen, we got ferry to Stavanger. Yes. And in Stavanger, we uh, stayed in an Airbnb as well. Um, Which was kind of weird also. It was like a, a, again, it was like a shared hostel thing. But when we were in Stavanger, we did Prekestolen, which is a big... Another... Big war. Well, well, it's not that big. It was very easy. It took people. like yeah, it took like two hours. To but get the there. views were incredible. Yes. And we also went to the swords. Sword, I fear. Yeah. Something like the three swords. Three swords. Sword and rockets. That it means in Norwegian. And on the first night. What do you mean? On the first night, it's Stavanger. We mean? discovered a tick. On Francesca's leg. But Jordan's leg. <laughs> Into from Spanger, we got an overnight train to Oslo, um, where we stayed in Oslo for two nights in a hostel, which was okay. Hostel wasn't it? it? Was weird. The kitchen was in the room, and then our favourite part of Oslo was the Viking ship museum. It was amazing. Yeah, they had like reconstructed like actual Viking ships. Yeah, they, they, they had a they had three though, and one was like a funeral ship. One was a sailing ship, or two were sailing ships. And one was a funeral ship. Yeah. We had skeletons and everything, didn't we? It yeah. was really so interesting. So the Vikings buried the important people with all the treasure in this big tomb on board a ship. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. And then from Oslo, we got a train to Gothenburg, uh, where we it stayed. Was overnight train. No, it wasn't overnight. Piss on it. Yes, it was. No, it was no. from Stavanger to Oslo, yeah. it was overnight. Yeah, it was just a train. Um, and we spent two nights in Gothenburg in a hostel which was very nice. I think it was pretty new. Mm, yeah, yeah. The showers were really nice. Yeah, a lot of stuff was really nice there. Yeah, um, and our favourite thing about Gothenburg was the park, which also had like a petting zoo in yeah, it. Yeah, it was a really nice park, really big park. Really It big. had a free petting zoo, and you could pet goats and chickens. And it's a photo of goat climbing me. And then from Gothenburg, we went to Malmö. Um, where Malmö? We where we stayed for two nights. Um, in an Airbnb, and the woman wasn't very nice to us. She didn't let us eat. No. No, she, she gave us this like breakdown of stuff that we could do in the house. Mm -hmm. It was, she basically ruled out that we could use the kitchen, and we, if we wanted to make a cup of tea, we had to ask her. But on when we applied for it, you could use the kitchen. Yeah, which was very annoying. So, the best thing about Malmo, in our opinion, was the food. The food, yeah. Cause we, we went, went out and ate, ate out all the time. Yeah, but we went on a Sunday and a lot of places close and there isn't a lot to do on Sundays in a lot of Europe. It's quite traditional. Yeah. 
So just keep that in mind, especially like when we were in Austria. The oh my god, no, Stavanger was the worst. Oh, Stavanger was really bad too. Just keep that in mind. So then from Malmo we got a bus to Copenhagen and we spent three nights in Copenhagen in a hostel and it was the YMCA hostel or something. That was a fucked up hostel. Though. Yeah, it wasn't, it, the security really wasn't good. I didn't feel safe there. Because you, you can't, I'd, I wouldn't recommend a hostel. Because you kind of go in off the street, and the it's just a building, and the doors There's are never locked. We didn't have keys or anything. The the rooms were never locked. The ro the yeah. doors didn't close properly, um, and our room was like a ten bed, twelve twelve bed, and you walked in off the street through a double door, and then our the first door that you saw was our room, and you could just walk straight into it. So that was pretty. That was a thing. Yeah. You didn't get robbed though. So that's all right. No. Uh, but our favourite thing about that was we went on a really nice night walk, didn't we? And saw the houses and the canal. And then from Copenhagen we went to... Unser. Yeah, from Copenhagen we went to Unser. And we stayed in an Airbnb for two nights and it was really, really nice. Yeah, it was really nice for really. me. But we didn't realise how far out of the city it was. So we were kind of stuck there, so we just went to a massive Ikea. Yeah, the, the Airbnb that we stayed in. is meant to have some nice things in it. We never found them. From Umsa, we went to our work aware, where we stayed for a week and three nights. Because <laughs> we left that early. And <laughs> we uh, were really trying hard to think of like our standout point of that work away in Denmark, near Umsa. And... Coming up, coming up a lot of Yeah, we, there was a hologram of a Viking ship. Which that, was, that was pretty cool. It was cool. We were on a few more. The night sky was really nice, it was really clear. Yeah, that trip down by the lake, maybe that's it. And then from that work aware, we went to, on an overnight bus to Hamburg, um, and we stayed in Hamburg for three nights. Be careful with overnight buses though, because sometimes you get to a place really early and there's not that much open, or places that you can stay, because hostels don't let you in. Yeah, that um, hostel didn't have a reception, it wasn't 24 hours. Yeah. So we had to sit in a McDonald's. We should have planned it. Hour yeah, it's on us. Our favourite thing about Hamburg was uh, there was this really cool museum underneath a bombed oh. church, and you could actually go up the church tower, which was left from World War II. Mm. Um, and it was really interesting because we got to see um, what was it? The Battle of uh, Gomorrah? I can't remember. What's the girl from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Gamora? Yeah, it was Operation Gamora. And I didn't know anything about her. As so if you remember it through that. Yeah, but that's how I, I knew the name. That's what connection but through. The museums in Hamburg were fantastic. Yeah, we really enjoyed if that. If you're interested in World War II and anything surrounding We'd the aftermath. Have. And Definitely then um, we also went to Bergen Belsen, which was close by. We got a bus there. Yeah. Um, I did we go We went there because my granddad helped liberate it, so I always wanted to go just to see the thing and Anne Frank died there. So. What was your opinion on it? It felt weird. Yeah. I don't think we have any footage of what was no, in there because we didn't, we didn't want to we didn't want to record. I might post a picture, I've got a picture of Van Frank's gravestone and yeah, I think that was the, the thing because it took loads of photos because there was a lot of information and burned it all down. So mm. it was just kind of outlines and a few things remaining. It's weird so. though how, how thick and the outlines and structures yeah, still were. were. Um, and it was very quiet. But I think the only thing we took a picture of was maybe the memorial. Or the grave, like you said. Yeah, and I've got a few, but more of her, more of her respect. Thing. Yeah. Not a big I fan of, not a big fan of taking pictures. No. So from uh, Hamburg, we went to Berlin, and we stayed in Berlin for two nights, and we stayed yeah. in a hostel, but the hostel had like a garden, and there was tents set up in it, so we had a luxury teepee. <laughs> Yeah, probably the best the best hostel we stayed in though. Yeah, it? it was amazing. Because it was a mix between you could stay in dorms that were the, all inside, the dorms were sold out. That, inside, that was the only option. Or you could stay in the garden, and I'd probably recommend the garden over the dorms because so, there but, was chickens yeah. in the garden. Yeah, the there was chickens. a herb garden that you could go and Use. get food, fruit. 
<laughs> fruit and vegetables from and herbs. And so our best things to do in Berlin was we went to a Bavarian pub, which was pretty damn cool, and an upside down bar where all of the stuff was on the ceiling. Yeah, what was it? What was it called? Madame something, right? I'll put the thing here. Yeah. Um, where else did we try again? We also tried to get into Berkheim. Fuck. He took one look at us and said, nope. <laughs> Don't yeah. want to go in anyway, is it? Fuck you. It's the year Fuck you in the bar. Um, and then from Berlin, we went to our third work away, where we stayed for two weeks. And our top memory or best thing we did there was... Ooh, I don't know. That's a hot debate because you said something, and I don't. I don't think I agree with it. The connector. Mm, I don't agree with that. What do you think? Then? Hot tub. Ooh, yeah, the hot tub. Mm. And then from our work away, we went back to Berlin. But that night, we got an overnight bus from Berlin to Munich. So we get got went into Munich very early. I don't think we ran into the same issue though in Munich. Really. No, because it was like eight o'clock. We got there. So we only had to hang around. I think you had to hang around until eleven or twelve. Till the yeah. hostel kicked the people out and let you in. But um, it wasn't a hostel, it was basically, it was called Festination, it was like a festival tent site. Yes, recommend staying there. If you're going for Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest then you should go and stay in there because it's like the last stop on the line mm. to Oktoberfest. So you, no matter how drunk you got, you, yeah, as long as you got on the right line, you didn't, isn't the train would stop and you just get off and you walk to your thing. We got off on the, we got on the wrong train. We got on the wrong train in the wrong direction, and then I got off, and then, oh, that was a story. Yeah. Well, that's another video. Well, that's the best thing we did there, Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, fantastic. <laughs> and then from uh, Munich, we went to Salzburg in Austria, and we spent two nights in Salzburg, and we stayed in a weird hostel hotel thing. It was like yeah, a hotel, but there was hostel rooms as and well. And there was that family that took over the kitchen. Yeah. Our best thing to do in Salzburg? Oh, ice caves. The ice caves. Yeah. Pretty damn cool. No footage of them because you're not allowed to film. <laughs> Pissing cold though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was awesome. I'd like to be in the ice caves right now. Yeah. And then from Salzburg, we went to Innsbruck, but the bus we got took us back to Munich. <laughs> yeah. Just go through Austria. Uh, and we spent three nights in Salzburg in a hostel, and it was a very tiny hostel. Literally, this. The walkway was like this, and those bunk beds either side. Do you remember how small it was? Yeah, and then there was that uh, that girl in there who yeah. was like commuting from a baby and stuff like that. And then the best thing we did in Innsbruck was buy the Innsbruck card, um, which is really good value, we thought. Yeah, we're going to one or two museums, it pays for itself by then. We did so many things. We went to we went up a tower, we went to the Alpine Zoo, we went to Swarovski World, yeah, we went there up a, the ski thing. Up the ski lift up to the top of the mountain. No, what, the old Olympic thing. Oh yeah. From Innsbruck we went to Venice where we stayed for two nights. Venice was fantastic. And it was in a hostel, but it's a tiny hostel, there was only three rooms. Yeah, but one we, of the rooms joined through another room, so we were in that room. Yeah, we were in the, we were in our own room though. But we didn't, yeah, we didn't care for it. lucky that we were in our own yeah. room. But it was really good. Yeah. And the best thing about Venice was the food. <sighs> Honestly, best pizza in the world. And then from Venice we went to Milan, where we stayed for one night. Oh, also had a very good pizza there. Remember the pizza oh, that I had? And yeah. it had oh, all, the, all the meat and stuff. Oh, and then... And the, Hmm? That had a nice bar and all Yeah, that also had a nice bar. But it was a three bed bunk. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. It was tight. I'm quite tall. That was a fuck on. Yeah. And then from Milan, we went to Lake Como and we stayed with our friend Matteo, who we met in. Who we met in Norway. Yeah. Lovely guy. Probably going to come see us in England, hopefully. Hopefully. We stayed for four nights in Como. Yeah. And. The best thing about Lake Como was we, we took us to a really nice villa. Mm, the, but what? The villa was really nice. I'd recommend going, but there's a lot more to do in Lake Como. You could just go and stare at it. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. beautiful. So the food was really nice there as well. Matteo yeah. knew where to get really good pizza. Really good pizza. We went to a nice bar and we had those bread things with ham on. Yeah. Crispy ham. That was good. But yeah, Lots and then stuff. from 
Como, we went back to Milan and flew from Milan Airport into Melbourne, Australia. Yep. Oh, we currently are. And then <laughs> that's where we are. And then most things happened in Australia. Well, yeah, we've got another six months of flight. Our itinerary, a quick overview. We went from Darlington to Aberdeen. From Aberdeen, we flew to Bergen. From Bergen, we went over Workway and Hardanger Fjord. Then we went back to Bergen. And from Bergen, we got a ferry to Stavanger. And then from Stavanger, we got an overnight train to Oslo. Oslo to Gothenburg on a train. Gothenburg to Malmö on a bus. Malmö to Copenhagen on a bus. Copenhagen to Unna on a bus. Uh, I said Unsa. Unsa. Um, Unsa to our work away. Work away on a bus to Hamburg. From Hamburg to Berlin on a bus. Berlin to our work away. Work away to Berlin to Munich on an overnight bus. Munich to Salzburg on a bus, Salzburg to Innsbruck on a bus, Innsbruck to Venice on a bus, <laughs> Venice to Milan on a bus, Milan to Como on a train. Ooh! Uh, quick note, Flexbus. If you're ever traveling in Europe, try and call on a Flexbus. It's really cheap. Sometimes they do online buses slash travel, so you can use, your, use it as a conveyor to control. And they're often really cheap, it's like 15 pounds. I think less. a like and a comment because it really does help us out even if the comment is telling us our hair is shit yeah or calling me nasty mate <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with another video soon <laughs>